everybody, I'm Richard Holder. It's time for another episode of Speed Secrets. Today, working with our friends at Comp Cams, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite motors, the 5 liter Ford. In fact, that's the very motor that got me started in this industry. So if there's one thing that can make my favorite motor even more popular, that's boost. That's right, it's not just a 5 liter, but a turbocharged 5 liter. So let's take a look at what goes into the motor to make it even better under boost. Before we get to our test motor, we need to cover something very important, and that's this. Every good boosted motor starts out as a really good naturally aspirated motor. That's right. Now it's possible to add boost from a turbo to a stock 5 liter Ford motor, but why would you? If you take that stock motor and add cylinder heads, an intake manifold, and of course the right camshaft, now you're talking about some major gains. But guess what? Under boost, those gains are multiplied, allowing you to make even more power at any boost level. So let's take a look at our test motor and check out the modifications we made before adding boost. Our test motor was a stock 5 liter Ford, originally equipped with iron heads. Now naturally, we upgraded those with a set of performance aluminum heads and a high flow intake manifold. But the key to the success of our combination was the camshaft. We installed the Extreme Energy 274HR cam from Comp Cams. That cam offered a 555-565 lift split, a 224-232 degree duration split, and a 112 degree lobe separation angle. And it's one of my favorite cams for any 5 liter Ford application. The reason I like it is it offers a great combination of power and drivability. Not only that, it works well on NA and boosted applications. To this combination, we added an eBay GT45 turbo and an air-to-water intercooler. But before we get to the boost, let's check out how much power our combination made naturally aspirated. After installation of our cylinder heads, camshaft, and intake manifold, our modified 5 liter produced 387 horsepower and over 375 foot-pounds of torque, which is pretty healthy. But now it's time to add boost from our eBay GT45 turbo and air-to-water intercooler. It's important to note, we didn't crank the boost up too high on this application. Now why? Well, that's because we had a production 5 liter block, which is definitely the weak link. If you crank it up too high and produce too much torque, you'll definitely split the block. So we kept it at a reasonable street strip level to make a healthy combination. After running our modified 5 liter naturally aspirated, we installed that eBay GT45 turbo and air to water intercooler. After dialing in the tune, we ran the boost up to 5.6 psi, where our turbo 5 liter produced almost 500 horsepower and right at 500 foot pounds of torque. After cranking the boost up to 7.8 psi, we made 550 horsepower and over 550 foot pounds of torque, which is getting near the split limit of that production block. As you can see from these results, the right combination of a powerful NA motor and a little bit of boost go a long way. I'm Richard Holder. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.